Hi Nikki, how are you? Hi Adam, I'm okay. I'm so happy. I'm glowing after our hello glow. <laughs> Medyo napagod pa after Palawan. So I'm very excited for Holy Week na. Ako, masanay ka na. You're in a pageant. Ngaragan talaga ang schedule. Totoo, but I'm also a lupus warrior. So I'm so happy and open to say that I am tired. And it's okay to be tired. You know what? I'm so glad that you mentioned your being a lupus warrior during our first ambush interview. And it resonated well with so many of my followers on my platform. So how do you feel that, you know, you're creating more awareness about about what you went through and more so for your advocacy. It honestly warms my heart so much. I think my idea of a pageant was that it's when I win that I make an impact. But from the get-go since your interview, which I'm so thankful for, I've had so many lupus warriors messaging me, thanking me, or asking for advice. And it just warms my heart so much that even without a crown yet, that I'm able to make a difference and make an impact. And that truly is what brings my heart joy. It's great to hear. So. Marami ka talagang natatouch na lives and I'm, ano, and I'm glad that you're also enjoying it at the same time, not very afraid of showing your vulnerability when it comes to, you know, talking about what, what you do and the flaws and situations that you've been through in your life, right? Especially if you've just taped your swimsuit challenge and you made a post about it, na how proud you are about yourself for going through such process and coming it with, coming out of it with such a plot. Yes, and I think I'm so glad that that post resonated well with everybody because I think a lot of the time when we think about self-love or going through something that you're scared of, you always think that no, you have to be confident through it. But sometimes confidence is difficult and I think you have to really pat yourself on the back that even if you're scared, the fact that you just did it, even if your mindset about yourself hasn't changed, the fact that you've been brave enough to try, that's already such a big goal that you've hit. So for me, am I excited about swimsuit next time? No. But do I know I can do it? Yes. And am I proud of being able to do that? Super proud. Where do you draw your confidence in doing this, considering this is your first time to do it? For me, my confidence really comes from my inner circle. I think a lot of the time you can hear a lot of negative feedback or a lot of criticism from the people surrounding you that don't know you. And it's so easy to listen to them, but you have to realize that they don't know you, they don't understand you. And so when you have a really good circle of people, like for me, it's my mom, it's my camp TCI, it's even Sir Voltaire. I just had a chat with him earlier and he was very empowering about body positivity and being an advocate for all types of women and when you surround yourself with people like that it's those little moments however far and few in between they are of upliftment and joy they make all the negativity go away have you encountered um have you experienced being bashed as early as now since uh being declared as an official candidate how are you going through about it for me, I'm a person that is very self-aware, uh, so I know the things that I would consider needing to work on. Like, I know my voice can be very pabebe sometimes. Um, and so when I get comments like that, they don't offend me because they are comments that I know about. They are things about myself that I too wish I could improve on. And actually, I'm very proud of the Filipino public that I haven't gotten bashed on being a curvy candidate yet. Uh, not to be rude to society, but I honestly thought above my voice that would be the first thing that people People would mention so the fact that me as a curvier candidate has been somebody that has been so welcomed and had nothing negative said to in that respect I'm I'm really pleased I'm a little bit skeptical I'm wondering when that's gonna start if it does uh, but for now I'm very thankful I think as pageant fans our minds have really broadened on what it means to be a woman what it means to be a queen and the fact that they're so open to all types of women now is something that i'm so proud of as a fellow pageant fan so this is a life-changing experience for you miss universe is changing a lot of lives including yours right yeah, 
it's life changing and I think for me I'm a firm believer in therapy in mental health and I know being bullied growing up for how I looked uh, this journey has been very healing for my inner child it's one thing to accept yourself but to be quite honest to have other people accept you also does mean a lot to your healing and so I'm so thankful for the kind words and the support I've gotten that's great to hear no now you've you've managed to have that self acceptance before you join a pageant like MUP? I think you really have to because you are really putting yourself out there in the public and truly the only way that you can win that crown is if you are the best version of yourself and that's by being unique and being true to yourself and so if you can't accept who you are then how can you stand proudly on that stage hoping to win? True, true. So on that note, maraming maraming salamat. Alam mo, um, I hope more girls, more, more girls will be inspired by your likeness to push through with their dreams. So, regardless of whether it's pageantry or in other fields, you're already congratulations in advance talaga for you know showing a different side of a beauty queen, not be not being shown by everyone. Sobra. And I just want to say, I know this is going to sound so cheesy, but thank you so much to the org because honestly, going into it, I really didn't think they were as open or as kind as they have been. As This is me being very honest, so excuse me if I'm going to be memed or bashed, but as, as a non-contestant before, I really thought there was such thing as tokenism, as candidates being brought on board just to fit uh, the diversity peg and which is true in a man in some circumstances and so I'm so grateful and so heartwarmed to see that Miss Universe Philippines isn't like that they have brought every single woman on here because they believe in them and because they want them to feel empowered and to win and I think Miss Universe Philippines is doing something really special I think what they're trying to what they're trying to tell you guys is that I know there's a crown at stake there are crowns at stake but more than the crowns it's how you empower yourself how this experience can empower you to go to go through life na paglabas mo pala ng pageant ito you can do so many things in life you can be your own boss you can be beautifully confident or confidently beautiful in everything that you do the inspirational filipina that's the most important one yes. now and truly they are doing that they are empowering us they are giving us a platform to grow and most importantly they're believing in us in the moments we don't believe in ourselves the amount of workshops we've gotten the empowering talks the promotions towards our advocacies uh, miss universe philippines really is a life-changing experience Sana nakaka-relate ako, no? Masabi ko rin. Sana also. Oh, Sana <laughs> ng bagong requirements. So feel ko naman. <laughs> On that note, maraming salamat. Thank you for engaging me for an ambush interview again. God bless you and see you soon. Bye!